testing one, two. All right, folks. First off, we got one of the greatest five-string banjo players that ever lived and breathed standing right here. Second off, a little later on, we're going to bring together some of the gentlemen that played with him on one of the most revolutionary and important bands in the history of bluegrass music around about 1975, the version of J.D. Crow and the New South. They cut uh, Rounder Double Alt 44, an album that'll be important forever. But right now, we have one of the most important and best bands of 1999. Please make welcome the current version of J.D. Crow and the New South. Virginia, North Carolina, 
show here. Uh, in case somebody wasn't here, I'll take, introduce the band here. From Knoxville, Tennessee on the Dope Road, make welcome Phil Ledbetter. From Cincinnati, Ohio on the Madeline, singing a high part, make welcome Dwight McCall. From Richmond, Kentucky on upright bass, make welcome Kirk Chapman. This other fellow here don't need no introduction. So we'll just keep on picking. From the Holiday Inn in Lexington, Kentucky. I think that's his first home. No, not really, he said. From Lexington, Kentucky on the banjo, make welcome J.D. Crow. And also from the state of Kentucky, from Stanton, Kentucky. About a nice hand for one of the finest singers around right now, Ricky Watson. very much. We'll get Phil to pick you one here on the Dobro. What are you going to pick, Phil? All right. We'll get him to do you one called the Cincinnati Rag.
Well, do you know Flat Scruggs song here that J.D. recorded, I think, uh, with the Bluegrass album, Bam? Well, do this one for Jody Rainwater, sitting right here. And his wife, also. His better half. Do you want to call the Blue Ridge Cabin home? something now that uh, some of you expect this. Uh, we thought it was going to be a little different, but anyway, I want to bring up a fellow that uh, that used to be in the New South. He was a big part of uh, making that group what it was. He's a fine musician. He's gone on to do great things. And he's still doing them. Still burning it down. He's looking a little bit older now than he used to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to uh, also also bring out another fellow. There's two of them. Boy, I'm getting stomped on today. And I, oh, there's another fellow, a fellow that uh, is one of the best, probably the best acoustic guitar players that'll be, that's uh, been for a long time, or probably will be for a long time. And uh, he was a very, also a very intricate part of that New South band back in '75. How about a nice hand for Tony Rice and Ricky Skates? Well, he 
Rodney, that's right. I should have known that. Duh, stupid. Anyway, uh, sorry. I'll leave a mark. Uh, great song called Home Sweet Home Revisited. I want a piece of that chicken. That chicken. That chicken. That chicken. Since I've been gone The paper's all the full of killing Two million people willing to die For something they never know City of the streets are in the junk and stone Never the way to fill the corner of water and uh, charge the people that want to buy drinks and uh, I'd make about forty or fifty dollars a little extra uh, see not drinking pays off sometimes <laughs> make a little extra money buy strings and you know stuff for you man women you know rent <laughs> all right uh, I ain't a whole lot of folks can play this song uh, like it's supposed to be played. 
Yeah, we're really going to build him up right now. Well, you come as close as anybody I've ever heard, I'll tell you that. You like curves. You swing hard. <laughs> Let your swing be true, J.D. All right, J.D.'s going to play the Farewell Blues. Turn up first, huh? Yeah. 